హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ టు క్లాస్మేట్ అకాడమీ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఉమా మహేశ్వర్ సో జూలై ఎయిటీన్త్ పేపర్ దే ఆస్ ద క్వశ్చన్ రిలేటెడ్ టు డివిజిబిలిటీ రూల్ ఆఫ్ సెవెన్ సో వీ మస్ట్ లర్న్ డివిజిబిలిటీ రూల్ ఆఫ్ సెవెన్ అండ్ విల్ సీ సమ్ షార్ట్ స్ట్రిక్స్ రిలేటెడ్ టు డివిజిబిలిటీ రూల్ ఆఫ్ సెవెన్ బికాస్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ కెన్ కెన్ బీ ఆస్డ్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్త్ ట్వంటీ ఆర్ అప్కమింగ్ షిఫ్ట్స్ ఓకే ఇట్స్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ యూ టు లర్న్ సో దట్ యూ కెన్ సేవ్ లిటిల్ టైమ్ so look at the divisibility rule of 7 divisibility rule of 7 is little different from others so if you look at the divisibility rule of 8 it, it says the last three digits divisibility rule of 9 it says the sum of digits so how do we crack the divisibility rule of 7 okay with the basics we'll see how do we do divisibility rule of 7 so the normal if it is a two digit number or three digit number you can check it say suppose if a number x y is divisible by 7 then you can write it as the expanded form is 10x plus y 10x plus y is also divisible by 7 i'll multiply it with 5 50x plus 5y is also divisible by 7 so what is the remainder you're going to get from here you're going to get x as the remainder from here you're going to get 5y or else minus 2y for a two digit number how do you check it x minus 2y which means suppose if a number is divisible by 7 double the unit digit and subtract it from the tens digit 6 minus 2 times of 3 the difference should be divisible by what 7 the difference can be 0 difference can be 7 something like this you can see suppose if you take 154 unit digit you double it subtract it from the rest of digits so you know that the difference is 7 so it is divisible you take 161 double it then you subtract it from this 16 minus 2 14 so you can say it is divisible by what 7 so this trick we follow for a two digit number or three digit number it will be very very easy but okay rather than following this trick you can directly divide it by 7 and check but if a six digit number or a seven digit number is given to you okay then how do you do it for that we need to know little basics or we need to have little basics when one is divided by 7 the remainder is 1 10 is divided by 7 reminder is 10 divided by 7 reminder is 3 10 square is divided by 7 which means 3 square 9 9 divided by 7 is 2 10 cube every time you multiply it with what 3 because 10 square into 10 now. so into 3 you do it it is 6 10 to the power of 4 into 3 you do it so 18 which means 4 10 to the power of 5 divided by 7 into 3 you do it it will be 12 therefore it is 5 into 3 you do it again you will get 1 so these are the digits you must remember from <coughs> right to left so you can say first 1 multiplied by 3 3 multiplied by 3 so you get 2 then again 3 6 4 5 1 these are the digits you must remember respectively this is for the unit digit the reminder this is for the tens digit hundreds digit then after thousand then after ten thousand then after one lakh then after for ten lakh suppose if a number is divisible by seven okay then you can make use of these digits and then you can recognize or whatever the number which is missing suppose how do you remember this see here 1 double 2 double 4 3 double 6 double is actually 12 but you can take it as divided by 7 so it becomes 5 okay so 4 so, uh, double is 8 but it becomes 1 like that you can remember or else just put a little effort you will <coughs> you will get to know so every time you multiply it with 3 3 3 divided by 7 when it exceeds 7 
So there is no number which is greater than 7. Every number is less than 7 only. For example, how do you crack it? I am multiplying 7 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I am taking the bigger number only. I am getting the result as 8, 6, 4, 1, 9, 6, 9. So this is a 7 digit number which is divisible by 7. 8, 6, 4, 1, 9, 6, 9. This is a div okay, this is this number is divisible by 7. Suppose in place of 1, I'll put x and I'll ask you a question based on it. You are taking a number, a 7 digit number, 7 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is 8, 6, 4, 1, 9, 6, 9. So take a number, suppose instead of 6, I'm putting x. 86419x9 9. Remember the numbers which we just found. This is 1, 3, 2, then after 6, then after 4, then after 5, then after 1. When you are multiplying them, multiply it and divide it by 7 and write down the remainders. 8 into 1 is 8, but take only 1 because divided by 7. 30 divided by 7, so reminder is 2, so it is 2, 6 plus, okay, 6, 18 means 4, 3x plus 2. Wherever the sum is 7, you can cancel it, 6 and 1 is 7, 4, 2, 1 you can cancel, therefore you left with 3x plus 3. x is equals to 1, you substitute, it will be 6, 2 you substitute, it will be Okay, you can get 6, 9. Multiple of 3, which is also multiple of 7 is 21. So, x must be what? 21 means x is equals to 6. So, what is the value of x? x value is 6. Suppose, if you are missing a number which is 1. If I take this as x, x can be 1 or else 8 x can be 2 if the remainder 2 comes then x can be 2 or 9 if it is 3 3 plus 7 10 it cannot be possible so these are the unique digit when 3 is missing you can find out when 4 is missing you can find out 5 6 7 when 7 is missing you can't find out because you can have 7 and 0 both so you can have either 7 or else 0 also okay when 8 is missing you can get x value for example if i replace it with x both x value will be, it will be satisfied for 1 or else 8. But in the option, they will have only one digit. They can't give you both. They can't give you 1 and 8 both. Okay. So like this, you can find it out. We'll see a sum which is, which is asked in 2021. This is asked in 2021. See here. If the seven digit number x8 9 4 2y4 is divisible by 56 divisibility rule of 56 we know it is 8 and 7 then what is the value of x square plus 5 for the largest value of y where x and y are natural number we know last three digits if you look at 200 is perfectly divisible so we can say 224 or else 264 Therefore, largest value of y is what? 6, 264, you take it. It is a 7-digit number. As I said, take the reminders. 1, 3, 2, 6, 4, 5. If you can remember them, then directly write it. Or else multiply everything by 2. By 3, by 3, 3, 3, 3 every time. So, you can take it as x. 40 means 35 is gone, 5. 36 means just 1. 24 means 21 is gone, 3. 4, 18 means 4, again 4. Wherever the sum is 7, you can cancel it. Wherever the sum is 7, you can cancel it. 5, 1, 1. So you can cancel. So x can become 0. R is 7. You can't take 0 because if I take 0, it becomes a 6-digit number. So you can take 7. So what is the value of? He is asking you x square plus y. x square plus y. x square is 7 square is 49 y value is 6 therefore the answer is 
55. So like this you can answer, okay, uh, seven divisibility rule question. The next one if you look at, this is the latest trend, which of the following number is divisible by seven, okay. They are giving you except one digit, they are giving you all the digits as same. So you take that one digit as x, so you can take it as 319x3. So this is a five digit number, it will be very very easy for you, okay. Now you can take them 1, 3, 2, then after 6, then after 4. You can simply what? You can simply multiply them. 12 divided by five, 7 is 5. Here it is 6. Here it is 4. Here it is 3x. Here it is 3. Okay. Wherever the sum is 7, you can cancel it. I said 4 and 3 is 7. 5 and 6, 11. So, you will be left with what? 5 and 6, 11. So, you divide it by 7. You will be left with simply 4. Therefore, x is equals to 1. If x is equals to 1, you can also have 1 or plus 7 you add it. x can be 1 or 8. Look at the options. So you can say 6, 7, 8, 9. So what is the answer? The answer here is 31983 is perfectly divisible by 7. You can, any number you can take and divide bull by 7 and take the reminders and do it, okay? But or else you can directly take them. Why we are taking it like this? Because we are writing it as 3 in 2. How many zeros we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 zeros means 10 to the power of 4. 9 into 10 to the power of 3 x into sorry 1 into 10 to the power of 3 okay 9 into 10 to the power of 2 plus x into 10 plus 3 so then we are dividing it by 7 by 7 by 7 but every time we are not doing all the steps okay every time we are not doing all the steps if you can remember the numbers like okay from right to left if you can remember 1 3 2 6, 4, 5. These are enough. 1, 3, 2, 6, 4, 5. These are enough to crack a number which is divisible by 7. It will be very, very easy if you can remember that. Okay. Thank you.